This afternoon, state leaders will unveil new guidelines to cut opioid addiction in Minnesota. The Minnesota Department of Health says 395 Minnesotans died from an opioid overdose last year. Prescription pills were the cause of half of those deaths. While police are learning to fight opioid addiction in the streets, County attorneys are taking the issue to court. Yesterday, attorneys from 20 Minnesota counties announced plans to file civil lawsuits against drug manufacturers and distributors. The lawyers say these companies are contributing to the problem. They accuse the companies of fraudulent marketing and negligent distribution. These manufacturers have been sued several times in the last 10 years. Documents have shown this, that they knew the highly addictive properties, and yet they continued to market it as safe. The lawsuit seeks money for expenses like law enforcement, social services, medical care, and treatment of opioid patients. About 70 similar lawsuits have been filed across the nation. More Minnesotans will soon have access to prescription medical marijuana. The program is expanding to cover nine conditions, including sleep apnea, autism, some cancers, and HIV. Health officials say that there is increasing evidence that medical marijuana can help those conditions. The expanded use of medical marijuana goes into effect in July. A South Minneapolis park will soon be getting a major upgrade. The Minneapolis Park and Recreation Board approved a $1 million renovation plan for PV Park. It includes a new playground, picnic shelter, and multi-use field. The park board says construction will begin next spring. This will be the second phase of improvements that began with the new basketball court, which is currently under construction. Well, we are about two months away from Super Bowl 52 right here in Minneapolis. And while football is the marquee event, our city's vibrant music scene will also be in the spotlight. Oh, so exciting right now. Two of the men who perfected the Minneapolis sound, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, are talking about it. How happy we are to be back in Minnesota, back in Minneapolis hometown. Um, this is, um, I always said, we, we just love excuses to come back. And I can't think of a better excuse to come back than, um, than to put music on a stage um, in downtown Minneapolis. We love it when they come back. Well, they are helping organize some of the free live concerts taking place ahead of the Super Bowl. And you can't talk music in Minnesota without talking about Prince. On Monday, January 29th, his most famous bandmates are uniting for one big purple party. To start things off, um, kind of you have to have what we kind of think is the roots of what we do in our kind of Minnesota association, and obviously that's Prince. When you think about Prince and everything that he's brought to this area and really to music in general, um, you can't say his name without mentioning the revolution. So the revolution will be a part of this um, that we're very excited about, as will Sheila E as well people we know pretty well yes. Morris Day and the time. Other free concerts this week will include Adina Menzel, the Jets, local musicians Dessa, Mint Condition, Soul Asylum, and the Suburbs. More concerts to come. The Daily Shows will be held along Nicolette Mall starting Friday, January 26th. And again, they are free and they are outdoors.